Hi, welcome back to another episode of Art World Confessions. Today I'm gonna give a little story and I was thinking this could also be called story time with Nicolette and that's one of the number one reasons I enjoy the art world so much and why I threw myself so fully into it because at the end of the day it's all about storytelling it's all about the stories between these art historical figures that have created history I mean if we look at history just from a pictorial point of view we have so much information in our paintings and that's why it's really important that our paintings have integrity and that they tell true stories. Anyways, so today's story is about a visit I made to a castle in Italy just a little north of Rome and it's uh, the castle where Balthus had a studio and it was really a very serendipitous meeting. I was traveling around Italy after the Biennale and I was with a group of people who happened to have a dinner party and I met the son of Balthus. Um, his name is Stash and he's a musician. So I really got along with Stash, I mean for obvious reasons. Uh, he's an artist as well. Yes, where was I? Sorry, <laughs> I had a little bit of an interruption there. Yeah, so I was saying that I met Stash and um, we agreed that before I left uh, that region, I was in Umbria at the time, before I left, we would go visit uh, Castello di Monte Calbello. And it was a great meeting on many uh, levels. When I was there, I saw the studio of Balthus it was still set up as he had it set up. Here I've put a picture for you. We took a walk around the grounds. I mean, they're very small, discreet, and easily accessible grounds. We took a walk around there. There was the little square uh, with the fountain. And I've posted pictures here for you to see. I hope you enjoy these pictures as they come one after the other. We also saw a wonderful guitar that Stash had collected over the years. Um, I think it was owned by one of the Beatles. I can't remember exactly which one, but I'll put it down in the description. You can check that after. And I really enjoyed this meeting, like I said, on many levels, because one, he was an artist. Two, I was speaking to a bit of art history here. He talked a bit about his dad. He talked a bit about how he worked, about where they spent their times in the summer. And he showed me a little bit about how an artist at that time in the world really really worked with his environment with the people around him and that was quite for me a affirmation of why I was in the art world at the end of the day you know there was a huge brouhaha again when there was the exhibition at the Met I believe it was at the Met and uh, some women were up in arms about the fact that he had these uh, young women posing for him throughout his career uh, in some ways uh, scantily clad and whether or not we want to pass judgment on why this older man was painting young girls and what was the intention and stuff behind it I think people forget that at the end of the day art has its own rules and you know just the fact that we're here on this platform for example we can't show Artemisia Gentileschi's um, Judith with the head of Hall of Fairness because it goes against community guidelines. There are many things in the quote-unquote real world that would go against guidelines of art. And I'm not saying that every action of an artist is a good action. If we just look at Picasso's life and the blood <laughs> that was spilt, if not physically, then just emotionally in his uh, path of love relationships, we know it's not always easy to get along with or to work with artists. and we sort of give them a carte blanche because uh, what they're contributing to the whole of humanity I guess in a way is compensating for what they may lack in their own personal relationships and again we're not making excuses for them we're just saying that based on the work that they've produced there's going to be some crashes and sometimes those car crashes are metaphorically and sadly closest to the people to the artist um, so that's it for today's episode, I think. Um, you should look at uh, Balthus's over if you haven't already. It's really a fabulous body of work and everyone around him 
from his son to his partner. They were all creative. They were all uh, amazing artists. I think his uh, former wife and partner is also showing right now at Gagosian. So you can check her work out as well. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for joining me on another one of Bees and Honey. And uh, this Art World Confessions will probably go on for, uh, I was thinking about it, another 12 episodes or so. I've created a playlist so you can go back and look at episodes that you might have missed. And I will perhaps have this being posted every Sunday on YouTube. I think that's probably the best uh, for me and for you just once a week as opposed to twice a week. I might post a second one if I have some urgent uh, idea that I can't seem to get out any other way. I might post two, but other than that, it'll be once a week on Sunday. By all means, look at the other playlists I've created as well. There are podcasts from the last year or two that are oral podcasts, just sound, and podcasts which are visual where I had an interview with uh, cameras with whoever I was speaking to. So please, by all means, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you know when I upload and keep in touch for future episodes of Art World Confessions. Thanks and have a great week.